what's the right engine oil to use for your Aston Martin DB9? In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to give you just a quick highlight reel of uh, what's the correct engine oil to use in your Aston Martin V12 engine. Uh, just a quick note though, this is not the same information as for the V8 engines. So if you have a V8 Vantage, I suggest maybe you look over at redpants.lol. Um, but we're going to be talking about the, the V12 engine here. Changing the engine oil is something we need to do pretty much annually on every car. Uh, so the first place I thought I would look is let's see what Aston Martin would say. So I did the crazy thing and I opened the glove box and I flipped to the fluids and specifications page and basically they spell out engine oil, mobile one recommended 0W40 and 0W30. I also thought I would look at the official Aston Martin workshop manual for the service technicians and it says the same thing, uh, engine oil, mobile one, uh, grade 0W40 or 0W30. Then I also thought, well, I'm gonna to touch base with Mike from Bamford Rose. Bamford Rose is an independent Aston Martin service specialist based in the UK. Mike's uh, previously been a performance engineer for Aston Martin. So I thought, let's check out what uh, they use for all the Gaiden era cars they service. Hi Mike, thanks for joining me. I was just thinking about the engine oil that I use in the V12 in my uh, 2005 DB9. And I'm wondering what you use for your customers there at Bamford Rose. Yeah, hi there, Steve. Uh, Going to be incredibly boring and say we use the factory specified Mobile <laughs> One Zero Forty. And I even have a bottle of that here. Uh, that's what I use as well. Um, but uh, is there uh, anything specific to this brand? I mean, obviously, it's readily available over all over the world, and if it's and it's also pretty reasonably priced. So I didn't see any reason why to use something else, but. Is there anything magic about this brand or um, that you know of? Well, obviously it's a good quality. Uh, no, there's nothing magic about it. It conforms to a spec which many other oils will conform to. Um, the reason that I select that um, is because that's the oil that all the durability testing was done on and it's what the factory recommends. So I, I wouldn't change it. So what weights do you normally use uh, for the car? So, I mean, you're in the UK, so the winters aren't very harsh. Do you just uh, go with the 0W40 the whole time, or do you, do you ever specify using the uh, 0W30? Yeah, the temperature ranges that we get, then the 040 is fine. And if you were in uh, a colder climate like Canada, is that when we probably consider um, switching to the 0W30? Uh, if if you're really going to drive your car during the winter, but I guess if you're just going to, you know, park your car over the winter, you could just leave the 040 in all year round. Yeah, in the service book is that graph that shows you temperature and oil weight. So I would plot on that graph uh, the ambient that I was in and decide whether it's worth making a change or not. If I was out on a trip and I had to top up my oil and I didn't have a bottle of the Mobile One with me, and they just had a at the service station they just had some different brand, maybe a cast roll. Yeah, let's say it's not even the exact same weight. Maybe it's a casserole, you know, 5W30. Would it be a sin to top up, you know, half a liter of uh, using a different weight uh, if I was on a road trip? Different weight in terms of that small change, no, because arguably uh, being half a liter over with uh, a slightly different oil is better than being half a liter under the minimum mark on the dipstick. And I wouldn't have to, you know, rush home and change my oil afterwards. That would be okay making it to the next annual service, probably. Again, that's such a small weight change that, yes, I'll, I wouldn't be concerned about that. Cool. So is there anything we need to avoid? Like, would it be a, a mistake to mix conventional oil in with the sy synthetic? Uh, yeah, I wouldn't ever mix uh, those oils. Is there anything different for the V8 engines? Uh, the V8 is a 10W60. And is that still a, a mobile? It came out originally as Castrol Edge, which is very expensive oil. In recent times, the factory did rationalize how the different oils they were using, and a mobile 1060 was used instead of the Castrol. 
Uh, it's probably more to do with having a deal with mobile rather than it was anything to do with the grade quality of the oil. You know, crucially, they'll all meet the same spec. So whether it was a Petronas, whether it was a mobile, whether it was a cash draw, that they're all going to meet the same spec. Obviously, in this country, there are premium brands, um, there are cheaper brands. But I know in the States, so I've had a few American cars myself, there's, there's loads of brands of oil and people become dearly attached to a particular brand for whatever reason. But, you know, for me, I'm an engineer. If it meets a spec, especially if the factory did all its testing, then that, that's good enough for me. All right. Well, that's great advice, Mike. Thanks very much. Oh, no problem, Steve. All right. Well, my recommendation is pretty straightforward then. If you can get it, my recommendation is uh, Mobile One Zero W40, uh, full synthetic uh, engine oil. This is about 25 bucks off Amazon here in the United States. Um, if you're doing a full fluid change, you're going to need about 11 liters of it. So that'd be about three bottles this size. Um, and we're going to do that probably once a year. If you can't get the mobile one in your market, um, you're going to be looking to get something that has the API, at least SL specification and, uh, you know, a cast roll edge, full synthetic zero W 40 would be my next choice. And then uh, everybody also talks and says nice things about the Mo tool. So hopefully that helps you with uh, your engine uh, oil change project. If uh, you uh, like articles like these, uh, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, down here, you're gonna find the companion blog article where I'm gonna have links to where you could buy the fluids. Up here, you'll probably see an article on another fluid or how to change your engine oil. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.